Well, what is going on? Welcome back to Clayton Schick Outdoors. Of course, I'm Clayton Schick. This is the beautiful foggy outdoors, although the fog is lifting quickly. It's early morning. Right now I've got the lake to myself from what I can tell. And we are gonna try to shiver up some walleyes. Shiver mena. We're gonna try to do some casting, possibly below the boat, but my first thought is when it's this glass calm that they're gonna be pretty spooky and we're gonna have to get within like, you know, 30, 40 feet of them, cast to them. Of course, I love to catch them right vertical below the boat too, but we're gonna see if we can pitch them. The shiver minnow is such a great bait for pitching so that no front hook. We'll talk more about that as we go right now and jump up front in the command center and try to nail us some walleyes. Let's do it. Okay, 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 okay. Record live imaging. And let's see what we can find. Hopefully we can get some walleyes. This is usually like, I'm out here nice and early. And then like all of a sudden it'll be like, boom, three hours into the video before I'll finally catch a fish. Hopefully that's not the case today. I kind of wish it would stay with this little fog like this. This is actually quite enjoyable. The nice temperature. Oh, oh, oh. That's awesome. All I did was find that fish with the live imaging. And then once I threw to it, I just fished it blind. I don't always like, I'm not glued to the live imaging in certain terms of like, oh, there's a fish. I have to watch my bait. I have to watch my bait. I'm literally like throwing to it and then fishing it blind once I feel like I have it in that area. But that did not take long. Boom. Nice fish too. Beautiful fish. First fish of the morning while well, the lake is so quiet because nobody else is out here. 25 inches. Fun little start right there. Little guy, little guy. But gotta catch some little guys too. It's good to see population strong in the lake with catching some little guys. I'm hoping to eliminate catching the smaller ones by using a little bit bigger bait and then as well as casting to certain marks, but it's like a 12 incher. Well, I think it's time to try another spot. Um, the hardest thing with walleyes, especially in August, is they can be anywhere. They can be deep, they can be shallow, they can be on rocks, they can be on mud, they can be on sand, they can be in weeds. So the hardest thing is trying to figure out some kind of pattern for the day. So far I figure out no pattern. I'm fishing some drop-offs on some mid-lake humps and uh, not much going on. I'm seeing some smaller fish, but there's not a lot of interaction with the, with the glide bait, with the shiver minnow. So I'm going to keep looking around. Hopefully that isn't the trend for the day where I have to fish them with bait or fish them slow with like a Ned rig, artificial, something like that, a spinner, um, a search bait, etc. The The list goes on and on, but right now we're just going to keep looking around a little bit and seeing if we can hopefully still find some kind of shiver minnow bite. I'm done spot three, I'm going to spot four. The struggle is real right now. I'm on a lake that I normally normally can catch walleyes quite easily and maybe I have to change tactics, maybe some cranking, uh, maybe some bait, something like that. But right now it's definitely a struggle bust. And like I said, I'm on a lake that I have confidence in to catch walleyes, but it just goes to show you midsummer, they, they can be anywhere and it can be tough. The, all the water is like the same temperature, everything's uniform. There's nothing that's like pushing them to one area more than another, especially like a calm day like this with no wind, ultra tough. I don't know, struggle's real. 
it's already 11:55. <laughs> I've caught two fish, that nice gorgeous 25 incher to start with, and then a little guy. <laughs> like I said, the struggle is real. Oh, this fish is all over me. Okay. Well, just got to keep working and we'll get them. Just got to keep working. This one was right below the boat. Looks like a nice little eater. Actually, one for the live wall. One for the live wall. Got that back hook. Should I net you? Ah, uh, we'll just lift you. We'll just lift you. If you come off, you come off. But you look to be like a perfect eater. Change to a silver and black moonshine. Horrible sun angle. We'll measure him and see if he goes to the live wall. Nope. 19 and a half. The lake come on as a slot size. 19 and a half is too big to keep, so see ya. Oh my goodness, that's a little guy. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's <laughs> yikes. There we go. Again, right below the boat. A little hump. Too small though. Small. Small one. Biggest fish of the day has still been the first day, or the first, yeah, biggest fish of the day has been the first fish. Tiny one. <laughs> it was sitting on the bottom. I went to anchor lock. I switched my hands. I was like, man, I think something just pinned it to the bottom, so I just went for it. Yeah, not a bad fish at all. What a 21, 22. Caught the treble, got the treble hook. I changed my trebles on this, which I'll do a little demonstration here or I'll, st I'll talk about it. But it's a nice fish, should I net you? Yeah, I probably should, because I haven't had a lot to show off for this video yet. Okay, there, oh, almost missed it. Yeah, okay. Okay, nice fish. Right there, I'll measure him, but I'm thinking 22 probably. Oh, big, oh, easy, 23 and a half. Like I said, I haven't caught a pile of fish today, but for the most part, you're usually going to catch some bigger fish when you start doing a, an artificial presentation like the shiver minnow. So can't complain at all. It's like one o'clock, like I said, been slower, but I'm enjoying the day anyway. Okay, the shiver minnow right there. I forget the color name of this one. I'll put it right here somewhere, but it's uh, got the red nose on it. I put a number six, six size VMC barbarian treble on there. They come with, a, I feel like a little bit too small a treble for the bigger fish. If you're hunting just eater size walleye, it'll be just fine, but you can easily open that up a little bit and change the hook out, not a problem at all. I run a 14 pound uh, leader here. You could go even heavier. I don't like to go any lighter for the fact that when it's stiffer, it prevents it from getting hooked around itself as much, especially when I'm casting it out. And I talked about earlier in the video, I like the shiver minnow with no front hook on it for casting it out. It just pounds down into the bottom real nice. You don't get snagged as off as, as often. You still get snagged when you're in, in amongst all the rocks. I also run a number zero uh, um, snap on here from VMC. You could tie the, the moonshine direct, but I, I like the snaps. I just like having that little bit more movement when you pop it up, it just kind of gives it a little bit more bounce off the bottom, I feel. So sometimes if you're like even gonna hit it when it's almost tight, that snap allows that extra movement. I, it's That's just a preference. I've always been a snap guy on the glide baits, whether it's a hyper rattle, jigging wrap, etc. I've never been a tie direct to baits like this but like I said number six VMC Barbarian and uh, different colors obviously are going to work on different lakes um, I like a lot of chartreuse when the the water is a little bit murkier I like having that red uh, nose on there as well it just gives them a little bit more of a target now when I eat it on the bottom pinned to the bottom I had cast it out I was snapping it a little bit and I literally like went to go hit anchor lock with my foot and I switched hands for a second just to turn and I was like oh my goodness and like I think there's a little bit of weight there so I just piled them with my left hand it was probably a little bit awkward. So so far okay a 25, a 23 and a half, a 19, a couple smaller ones. You're going to catch way more fish with a jig and a minnow right now. They definitely want the bait, probably a worm, a leech, anything like that. You're going to catch more, but I feel like you're probably going to have a chance at bigger ones like this, just for the fact that um, 
if you're if there's a bunch of fish in an area there the smaller ones are going to leave that artificial alone and the bigger ones will target it plus i'm just trying to cover as much water as possible I'm moving around rather quickly uh, whereas say a jig and a minnow um, a jig and a leech it's a lot harder to fish when you're moving that fast it's more of a slower presentation overall very enjoyable day i can't complain at all it's been nice oh yeah one more thing the rod this is an elliot um, it's a newer rod that they came out with this past year, uh, the Identity Series. This is a reaction baits rod, 7.2 medium fast action. It's meant for the bigger reaction baits like this. It's got a good backbone on it so your hands and wrists aren't sore. If you use too light of a rod and you're snapping around an ounce or a 7 8 ounce bait all day, your arm's going to be really sore. But with a little bit more of a backbone with your rod, it's going to save your arm just a little bit. It's a warm one. Gotta stay hydrated today. Could use a little bit of wind. And this bite would be really good. Oh yeah, right below me here. Oh yeah, that fish followed me straight down. Nice. As soon as I saw it follow me down, I like instantly turn away from it, right? Like I'm talking about the live imaging. I'm, I'm, I'm using the live imaging to find the fish and then I'm just pitching it to it, saw it follow down, and I turned completely away from the live imaging. Live imaging is an unbelievable tool. I'm so for it, but you definitely do have to, like, you have to learn not to stare at it all the time. You have to fish by instincts a lot too. This one might be perfect for the well, we'll see. Maybe a little bit too big for the live well. Probably over the slot. Yeah, it's, uh, almost 20 inches so a little bit too big for the live well i gotta there's a slot size on this lake it's like 17 and three quarter under 45 centimeters so gotta get some smaller ones maybe i'll have to put on some bait later or just catch a couple more fish and film a different video whether i kind of want to do some cranking yet today too a little bit of wind would be nice it's hot these sun shirts this one's from striker it is uh definitely nice when it's this hot keep your skin covered as much as possible because that's how you'll stay just a little bit cooler oakley dokley we're going to try one more spot catch a couple more fish talk about some different things you can look for for midsummer and then uh, we'll wrap it up but hopefully hopefully we can still put uh, a big mama in the boat not the 25 inches isn't big we're we're just looking for a dirty 30. i haven't caught a 30 inch walleye yet myself this year uh, i've been in the boat with a couple carter we went out recently we didn't film at all popped a gorgeous 30 and three quarter with me uh cindy obviously the fish from earlier this uh um, season a couple that were like beginning of july she's got two carter's got like i said multiple Clayton, zero dirty 30s. I've yet to catch a root beer walleye this year. No fish at that spot. Still want to catch a couple more fish and talk about some places before I wrap this video up, but it's hot out. Oh, geez. <laughs> I have caught more fish today when I'm not ready for them than I have when I've been ready for them. This one feels nice. Wow, if this is a walleye. This must be a pike, right? This must be a pike. If it's a walleye, it's a pretty big walleye. Be a walleye. Be a walleye. It could be. It could be. I caught that fish way, way out there. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. I saw it for a quick second. If it's walleye, it's a big. If it's pike, it's medium. It could be a uh, funny hook walleye too, even though it did eat it up right off the bottom as I was about to turn. That's just a nice walleye. It's a nice walleye. Chin hooked walleye. I'll take that fish right there any day. Oh, come on. Nice. That's a good way to end my day. That's for sure. Okay. Quick measure. 26 incher. Not bad at all. Okay. Probably my last fish. 26 incher. So my first fish and my last fish of the day are nice walleye okay <laughs> had the hood up pretty much all day that is awesome i'm gonna go through a couple key spots to focus on i'm gonna pull up my phone and go over some angler's edge stuff that you can uh, focus on in midsummer 
with the shiver minnow shiver minnow hyper rattle jigging wrap there's a bunch of different glide baits that one was way out and i i again it was just sitting there so patience too sometimes with those things like pop it let it sit for a minute pop it not a minute a few seconds pop it sit pop it sit because i was just about to turn and boom okay good day okay i'm going to talk about a couple key spots that are good for this time of year i have my um, screen recording pulled up this is for lake of the prairies this is angler's edge mapping they have awesome mapping on lake of the prairies but plus a bunch of different lakes in manitoba saskatchewan northern manitoba they're working on more in saskatchewan they're continuing to continue to work on more everywhere but right now kind of like a mid lake hump they, keep in mind this is like um, more in terms of like the august bite right now where the walleye can literally be anywhere they can be in two feet they can be in 30 feet a lot of the water is almost all the same temperature it's gotten as hot as 75 degrees today it's super hot but it's 75 degrees in the middle it's 75 degrees shallow sure that surface temperature it's going to be cooler down there but these walleyes will literally be like i said from two to 30 feet right now they'll be deeper too but in terms of fishing ethically two to 30 feet they're going to be everywhere but first thing to look at here is a hump a hump uh, is some kind of mid lake or a mid lake hump is a structure that's not connected to the shore at all. So there's a hump there where it comes up to like, that one's probably about 14, 15 feet and all around it is deep water. Um, another one is a long extended point. And I, by a long extended point means it's connected to the shore somehow. So it's gonna come out and it's gonna, it's gonna jut all the way out and there'll be deeper water all the way around it. So for example, this right here, see you got a little bit of a, you got shallow there and a point. And then this one too is another one there where it's shallow and deep water all the way around it. Another one is literally a big flat. This flat right here is, is pretty much anywhere between six to 14 feet, but there's different areas there where it's an extended period of time where it's the same depth. Those fish will be up there cruising, eating all the time. It's just a matter of whether you can get your bait in front of them. Not all the time, at times is what I meant to say. So those are our three key spots in August is mid lake humps, extended points, and big open flats. And I'm not kidding, literally, they can be on sand, they can be on mud, they can be on rock, they can be in weeds. They can literally be anywhere. They can be suspended. They could be out in 50 feet suspended up 25 feet, which you can fish for those ones, but be really, really careful if you are going to fish for fish in 50 feet. Don't drop any deeper than that 30 feet. Stay above. But yeah, it's been a good day. I'm going to drop down for a couple more fish here, and then uh, we'll wrap the video up. Fish a little bit more, no dice. Shiver middle for the win. That was the, the hot one. The, I think it's called like a bloody nose or something like that. Chartreuse, biggest size. I think it's seven eighths, but that was the hot one. Hot day, hotter bait. Probably would have caught a pile of fish if I would have used a jolt jig in a minute, but sometimes it's fun just to try different stuff. And it's a lot more rewarding when it's grindy to put something together than when it is when it's really easy. I'll tell you that much. I grinded for a video today, there's no doubt. But as always, thank you so much for watching and don't forget, get outside.